<laughs> Hello magical lovelies and welcome to the Hedgewitch Homestead. Um, I've been promising you uh, a little patio update for the last little while here and now we have some exciting things to show you. Things are sprouting and growing really well. I'm quite happy with it. Um, today we're going to start down by the kale because I have a, toma a tomato story to tell you when we get down there. So let's turn you around here. These kales have greened up really nicely. Got some nasturtium starting in them. The thyme and the lemon balm, the pineapple mint, the blueberries. Does anyone know if that means there's a blueberry growing? Because the bloom fell off of it. And this is my first time growing blueberries, so I'm not sure. But the sage is doing well, the marjoram's doing well. I'm getting more flowers on these guys. This one, the petals have fallen off and it's starting to grow. This one looks like it's shriveled up and died. Some runners on this one. And can any of you tell me if these are a strawberry or not. I'm starting to have my suspicions that they are not. Milkweed's doing good. The IMs are growing well. More of the kale, the sunflowers. These white strawberries have tons of blooms on them. Rosemary's doing good. Look at the size of that nasturtium. I think that's my biggest one. The next planting of peas from the first one that didn't come up are finally starting to come up in this one. Those ones are all doing good. I got to get my net put up tonight because these ones need something to lean on. Look how well those are doing. My dill is finally up. I think I might have some cucamelons starting to come up. Lettuce is doing good. Still nothing in the Italian parsley. But look at my radishes. And there's the garlic chives have come up. Spring onions have come up. There's the Swiss chard. There's the spinach. Lemongrass is coming up. Sage is coming up. These are my watermelon radishes. It looks like they all came up. Only one catnip came up. But the hyssop's doing well. The dark opal basil's coming up. The Thai basil's coming up. Utah celery managed to live. Beets are all coming up. The two survivor bell peppers are starting to grow again. Got lots of carrots coming up in this one. This one is the rainbow blend. I finally have one single carrot somewhere over here that came up today. This is the purple haze ones. These are the Scarlet Nantes. Looks like almost every one of those ones came up. These are the Red Danvers. These ones were one of the first ones to come up. They're doing really well. Here we have the Zinnias. More Nasturtiums. The Marigolds. Calendula. Mm, looks like there's an echinacea coming up there. Got some calamines coming up. Looks like I'm finally starting to get some chives. More calendula. This is my wildflower mix. 
they're doing really well. These are those two cayenne peppers that made it through the freeze. I'm not sure what these ones here are. There's my straight neck squash, my dark green zook. The dark star has not come up yet. The cucumunchers up. Cucumunchers up in this calendula too. There's another cayenne pepper. My Aunt Molly's are up. My oregano is up, and I'm not sure what these ones are, if they're just weeds or what. I'm not sure. Parsley's doing well. It looks like all the tiny Tim tomatoes have now sprouted, so it's time to get those separated. I've got a couple of Rutgers came up. A couple of the beefsteak come up. Now this one, the subarctic plenty. The one giving me trouble germinating and keeping it alive. Well, it had a little accident this last week. One of my brothers decided to step in the planter and the planter shattered. So now I am trying to re-germinate that one. Is a yellow pear that is planted in the rescued soil from the broken planter. And we have the one Italian pear that came up. So that's everything that's planted for now. There's still nothing in the jalapenos from the saved, saved seeds from last year. Um, but yeah, I've still got lots of containers that I want to get planted. I'm in the process of emptying out the composter. And so, yeah. That's how things stand for now. I'm just waiting for hubby to get home with some flour so that I can make some bread this week. And we're gonna do uh, some French bread and maybe some fry bread. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining me, everybody. I really appreciate everybody who supports me and comments and likes the videos. And yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for now. I hope you all have an enjoyable long weekend. And as always, be safe, be kind, and be blessed. Thank you, friends. Until next time.